Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, it will only take you a second to subscribe and it'll be much appreciated. Don't forget to hit the like button and share my videos with your friends. Now, I have an important update and that is the pricing is going up on the print costs. And a lot of us have been expecting that anyway. I mean, you can only go so long. I mean, I can't remember the last time there was a change in the uh, printing costs. And I mean, no doubt they've held off as long as they probably could. Because it would affect so many people, it will affect their sales or could affect their sales. But if everybody's books are going up at the same time, you know, you're, you're still, you're not competing with anyone really. You're still on that same level. So it's not really a worry in that respect. It's just really how much can somebody spend? Now, the biggest issue I've got is I have a lot of books. I have fast, I don't have as many as, as many, but I have about 300 books. Now, two, 200 of those books, really, they don't do an awful lot. In fact, probably 200 of them could go. That's how little they do. And really, I may go that way first and just uh, remove those 200 books because I don't want to be going through the updates all the time. And as they're not doing anything, it's just clutter anyway. It's a shame that they don't just disappear from Amazon instantly. Um, but I have to stop the uh, publication and archive them so they're out of the way. Now, if we look here, this is what I was doing this morning. I was about to um, tap a video about standard color and color. And I was going to do that later in the week. But as I'm messing about with the prices to see how much I would save or how much a customer could save by having standard color and if it was any good, which I'll show you, like I say, later in the week anyway, I noticed something and it was this. Let me just zoom in a little bit. What we've got is after June 20, 2023, the minimum price I could sell the book for and make nothing on, basically, is $13. Now, as it stands, my book here is at $14.99 and my royalty here is $4.54. That's not what I'm getting. That's just what I was messing about with this morning because I, I work on the idea of getting $2.00. Uh, about $2.50 or £2 here in the UK uh, for each of my books. Uh, there are certain books that are maybe 200 pages or 300 pages, and I go for a little bit more. I go for £3. Now I've got to make alterations to all that, and it's going to be, or it could be, a little bit time-consuming if I go through all my books, if I decide to keep all my books. But like I say, go back here. Minimum price, 11.13, and it's going to go up to $13. Now, I'm not happy about that because I've got to put my prices up and I don't really want to do that. So I can either take a hit on the royalties or put them up. And I, and I can't really afford to be taking that much of a hit on the royalties when they're only $2.50 anyway. So I'm going to have to put them up. Right, okay, so this is the page. When you go to your bookshelf, you'll notice this. Printing costs will change on the 20th of 2023. You currently have books that will earn zero royalties after printing cost change. Now, I created this for you, or for those people who wanted to um, learn how to travel right and and record their, their stories, their uh, adventures, and put it into a book form. And I make zero royalties on that. I even state that in here. Zero royalties. Uh, and that's really because I wanted to help you guys, and I, I created that sometime last year, and I thought it would be a good idea. Um, so check it out anyway if that's your thing, if travel and adventure is your thing, and you want to you write books about that. It's only a... Um, a short book. It's about 20,000 words. But anyway, my first thought was, will I be in a deficit? If they put the printing costs up, they'll have to automatically adjust 
the pricing to cover that. And I was thinking, well, what if they don't? Would I owe them for any books sold? And I thought, I can't possibly be right. And I don't think that is right. I don't think that's the way it goes. I think um, uh, there'll be a minimum on the price. So it'll have to automatically go up. Or there might be warnings to say, look, you know, you've, you, you, you're going to be in deficit or you can't be in deficit. So you have to adjust those prices. And there may be a freeze on the book until you do. Who knows? But uh, nobody knows at this point. It's all a little bit sketchy. Now, if we continue reading here, while not required, you may choose to update your list prices to avoid change in royalties. This is what I was saying, because I like to round everything up at, say, dot .99. Now, there's a lot of prices with VAT. So when I round them off, I like to round them off, and I'll change all these so that it's, say, eleven ninety nine here, including the VAT, or eleven ninety nine here, including the VAT, and so on. So I'll keep messing about with these figures until that hits the 99. Now, if they automatically do that with those changes, that will send all them out. You can update your list prices at any time individually on the pricing tab or until June 19, 2023, you can run a one-time bulk list price. If you're going to do that, I suggest you, um, you need to run it straight away because they're actually stating it can take a few weeks to kick in which means at the uh, after the change, you'll be running low or non-profit. So I think, uh, give this a look, give this video a good thinking about, read all the information here. And if you've got a lot of books, like some, some of you might have thousands of low content books, then this is really your only option, the one-time book list price. But instead of you having um, your book listed at say four ninety nine or five ninety nine. When you hit this book list price, it will add the difference to it. So it might be something like um, five twenty three or five sixty four or some some sort of odd number, which would look untidy. Um, but then again, if you've got so many books, you might not have any choice. What I would suggest is you go through all the books that are selling now so if you've got um i don't know let's just let's just say you've got 100 books and only 10 of them are selling um regularly go for those first make those changes but not now wait for the day that everything changes and you'll know you'll see all the prices change and it says here um on the 20th of june it's going to change this year and as soon as it does make those changes yourself manually to those top 10 or to all the ones that are selling uh, regularly, you know, in good quantities. Uh, and then in your own time, work on the others. Adjust them if you've got an hour to kill, you know, go through and do some more and so on and so on. That's the way I would do it. If you plan to make list price changes individually, then you could download this CSV file so what you'll, what you'll get when you open this is the books that will make zero royalties at the time. So at least you'll know which books. It'll give you a list. But at least you'll know which books you should adjust first so that they don't earn zero royalties. They're going to earn at least something. So you could go that way when you're doing it manually. Now then, if we go over to bulk list price, right, you can run a one-time bulk list price update on your live paperbacks, hardcovers, no mention of any ebooks and things like that. So obviously, because there's no printing involved, and I don't think there's any extra charges that they're incurring. I suppose there would be really when you think of a business. You think of electricity. You think of uh, staff. You think of all kinds of running costs, whether it's digital or not. You know, so there's this service costs are going up, and but there's no mention of ebooks. So that's a good thing. You have until the nineteenth. 2023 to start this bulk update but like i say it could take weeks according to amazon it could take weeks for it to kick in for yours to kick in so if you're going to do it do it straight away so you would want to go yes i want to bulk update my paperback and hardcover list prices on kdp to continue earning the same royalties after printing costs change on june 2023 so they will 
automatically update them. They will push up your price. So if your royalties are $2.50, they will continue to be $2.50, but your book price will change. We recommend you do not adjust your paperback and hard cover book list price until the bulk update is complete well that makes sense so you wait for the update but like i say I, i'm going to be doing it manually because i don't want to be stuck for weeks earning nothing if it's delayed if there's that many people or there's a there's a hitch somewhere um so i'll wait until the date and i will change the most important ones first it can take several weeks to run the bulk update we will email email you when your list prices have been updated in KDP. Or press this one. No, I don't want to use the bulk update to change my paperback hardcover price. So you can just do that. If I was to click that, it's letting me plan that straight away. If I was to click that, it's letting me do that straight away. So let's see. Okay, bulk list price change. On May 16th, today... 2023, you chose not to run the bulk list price update on your live paperback and hardcover list prices to continue earning the same royalties. So I've agreed to that. I'm now going to have to do them manually. Would it give me a chance to change my mind? Let's have a little look. Nope, I've already done it. And that's that. So now, you know, it's not something you can play about with. You make those choices and you do it the way you want to do it. And like I say, if you've got thousands of books or many hundreds of books, and they're all pretty much the same, and you're not making a great deal over the whole lot, you know, you've not got any best sellers, you're not selling hundreds a day of something. And um, for example, I'm doing okay at the moment at nearly $300 a day on one particular book. And that went up in just the last week so i'm really thrilled with that i'll do that manually thank you <laughs> because i want to round the numbers off so you can learn about it by clicking this option here and what you get is printing cost changes and there's lots of information about it but i hope i've been pretty clear and we'll see how things go you can adjust them how you see fit you've got the choice and like i say if you're going to go for the bulk option uh, click that option now or as soon as you can so that you're not sort of struggling or you're not weeks into the change earning nothing at all from your books or very little or it's hit your royalties in some way and at least you'll get that set for close to that date hopefully for the rest you know they haven't got hundreds of thousands of books um do it manually is my suggestion do what I just did then and hit the option for manual. And um, good luck with your changes. Um, yeah.